Hey there, YouTube. Uh, it's T Man here, and welcome to uh, PMB Jetstream J41 Tutorial 2.0. Um, yeah, I was looking back at all these uh, tutorials, and um, I was looking back on them, and I was like, man, there's a few mistakes I got um, on there. It's not really that the, the quality wasn't that good. Uh, the sound was way too muffled for the startup shutdown. Uh, the music did start to get annoying to me as I grew up a little bit. <laughs> uh, it was like two years ago, so... Um, it, yeah, I, I was looking at that and I was like, I think I can do a better job at making it and make it so it's uh, a bit easier to follow um, and also that uh, it won't annoy you so much. I made a new intro. I hope you like that intro. Uh, that took me a little bit to make, but it was fun and blender and stuff. But uh, anyways, enough of that. Um, let's jump in the cockpit, and again, it's going to be uh, Startup Shutdown 2.0, and uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Here we go. Alright, so uh, we are inside the cockpit again. I have it already started up, just like you would get it uh, um, outside if you just loaded it up. Like I said, if you watched my previous tutorial, you know that I said I wasn't going to do a full cold uh cold, uh, dark, and, uh, cold and dark, because it doesn't really start up that way, and unless you pull it up that way, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. Pretty much my role here, what I'm trying to do is provide the simplest and easiest tutorial that you guys can follow, um, so if you want a cold and dark, I take it that you're already familiar with a lot of the system stuff. And it seems like you'd be the kind of person who would go through the manual and go through the cold and dark stage for it. Um, I've already read through the manual, and I've picked out and threw away the unnecessary kind of simulated, if you want to go ahead and, you know, be a pro at it, the simulation stuff. I kind of threw that stuff out of the way, make this so you can just kind of jump in, shut it down, start it up when you need to, and get out and start flying it um, instead of doing the whole professional thing. Like I said, if you want to go through that, Chances are you probably will take the time to read through the manual to get all the steps done. So um, there are two ways to start up and shut this plane. Well, there's one way to start it up. There's two ways to shut it down. Um, you can use the stop buttons, which are right in here. Um, but that's not my way to do it because, um, like I said, that is probably the, the real way to do it would be to use those. But um, the more fail safe one and the one that I will show you is just to pull the condition levers back and the throttle levers back. Reason being is if you do this um, sometimes the start locks don't work up right and I have had problems where I can't start it back up. Um, so the fail safe way I do is use the condition levers. But if you use the stop buttons if you use the stop buttons you need to bring back the throttles back to their beta position and make sure that um, you unfeather them so that they can start back up and the start locks are not on them. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and start shutting this plane down. So I'm going to go ahead and I, like I said, I'm going to use the condition lever part. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, left one first. Uh, press the little mushroom button there. Let's see, let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. A little mushroom button right there, press that in. Then go ahead, control F2. Now when I do that, I'm also going to bring this left throttle lever back as well in the beta position. The beta position is back in the striped area. Okay, so let's bring this back. So, all right, you'll hear that rev down. Okay, good. Then we'll go ahead and you'll start hearing some warnings starting going off and stuff. And we'll go ahead and bring the right one down. Okay. Okay. Now that all that's off, we'll go ahead and turn our avionics off. Our batteries, our generators, all those come off. And then you're gonna want to bring up your ramp manager. Make sure you turn off your battery. You don't want your battery to die. Okay. So turn off your avionics, turn off your batteries, and then to get power back in here, if you're doing a pre-flight or whatnot, uh, not shift three, shift two. Bring up your a GPU, your ground power unit, which is the nice generator that they bring up right there. So shift two to bring up the ramp manager, and then um, the GPU. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. So ground power on. Okay, cool. 
with that you can bring on the avionics and stuff like that too. In Shift 2 you can also bring up, you know, you can open the doors, you can make it look cool. Uh, bring a card out, you know, see it all on the outside. Make it look cool, give a good screenshot picture right there. Also, um, you'll get these beeps, they're very annoying. Go ahead and turn them off by pressing this button right here. Temporarily mute, unmute. Remember to unmute it before you go flying though, because if you have a problem and that's not beeping and you don't notice it, well then that sucks. <coughs> Alrighty then. So, yeah, we have all that started up. Um, we have our avionics on. Go ahead and put, we're going to start with the startup uh, process now. So what we need is um, our fuel. We need fuel to be pumped into the engines. Okay, so now we have those fuel pumps running. Um, go ahead and take a look at, see see how these props are, are feathered? Your engines will not start up if they are feathered. Because um, that means the start locks are not on, so you can see that they're still feathered. Um, so they will not start up. What we need to do is we need to unfeather them and we need to add the start locks, which is all in one process. So what you do is you go ahead and you hold, click and hold this little doohickey button right there. And then if you look over at the left side, see, you see that they are moving to their unfeathered position. And then they will be locked. This ensures that there was not too much drag when the starter is trying to start up those engines. You have these giant armors, you know, how many we had? Five blades on that thing. And uh, if you try to spin those things up while they're feathered, you're going to have a good amount of drag. It's going to be hard for them to start up. So they don't start up unless they're feathered or unfeathered. And we're going to go ahead and do the right one too. Okay. So that, again, that turns off. That uh, unfeathers them and puts the start locks on so you can start them up properly. Okay. So that is all done there. Good. Alright. Um, at this moment, you can go ahead and you can start planning your flight plan. You can do, you know, opening up your virtual airline software if you need to, uh, um, your frequencies, get your clearance, you can do all that stuff right now. Um, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to start up the engines right now, because that's a good time to do it. So we're going to start out with the left one. Click that over that, the pull, turn, the master, uh, start master switch over to the left. Um, yes, actually before we do that, let's go ahead and turn our batteries on. Turn your batteries on. Then uh, put those over to the left, and go ahead and click start, and you'll hear it start revving up. There it goes, very loud. Um, at this moment, um, I usually just go ahead and count to ten, get a little ten count. And then you can go ahead and bring your prop, the left prop lever, up, exactly, and the uh, throttle over up. And you'll see that it starts to rev up. Engine temperature rises like it should. You'll hear the engine actually start to rev up like it should. And then this switch will go back to air. Now we're just waiting for it. Any second, there we go. So that went back to air. Good stuff. So we got engine one successfully uh, turned on. You're halfway there. No fires. You are successful so far. Keep your fingers crossed that the other one starts up well. Okay. Uh, and you can go ahead and turn that left generator on. And you'd be like, yo, ground crew, can you please move that uh, uh, GPU? I don't want to have that thing being blown across the tarmac when I turn this other engine on. So they go, okay, well, do that for you. Disconnect it, you turn the power off, and make sure that generator's on so that your batteries aren't draining. Um, and you can go ahead now and start the other one. So, same procedure. Go ahead and put this onto the right one. Okay. And press the start button. Give it a 10 count. Once you hear the engine, there we go. Give it a 10 count. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Now we bring the condition lever up. Did you hear it say condition, condition lever taxi. taxi? There we go. That's timing. Bring that up to normal. And if we did it all correctly, the engine temperature should shoot up. 
like it is. I think that's around. RPM should start climbing pretty high. There we go. And again, that should go back to air. Just like that. Look at that. Good timing. Good, good timing. Turn on the other generator. Turn off your fuel pumps. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You have successfully turned on, uh, shut down, and restarted your jet stream. I don't see any smoke. I don't see any fires. Um, I hear the roar of the engines. I don't see any uh, thing over here, except for the left beta and the right beta, because we have not removed the start locks. So like I said, when we shut them down, we put the start locks on. We uh, brought the throttles back on their beta position and unfeathered the engines. The start locks are now on. You try to take off with the start locks, you will not get the power, and you'll be sitting on the runway, uh, roll, uh, rolling down the runway, get halfway there, and be like, what's wrong? And you'll run off the edge because you figured out that you did a dumb mistake. So, that's okay, no problem, let's just go ahead and remove them. All we have to do is just bring them back to their, the striped area right there, and you should hear it. So let's see if we can hear it. Start locks removed. There it is, put them back into their normal position. Start locks are now removed, you can now go ahead and taxi, take off, you know, well, the, the airplane can do it now. Everything's not set up already, but yeah. That is all for this tutorial. It's very simple, very watered down. Um, like I said, if you wanted to go through the manual, you could go through the flows and you know make sure everything's good. Um, you know, arm the emergency lights. Make sure that your nav light is on. Your beacon light should be on. Uh, all the rest of the lights should be off. Anti ice should be off. You know, we can go through that, which is fine, but. Like I said, I went through the manual and I picked out the stuff that is only necessary. You know, I, I did the work to go through it already. Um, and I'll do that again for the next one. I hope this one was a lot better than the last one. Uh, I hope it answered any questions that you had. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to go through for this. Uh, the startup and shutdown was pretty basic. Next time, I'm not going to go straight to uh, FMC and payload. I'm actually going to show you flight planning. Um, I just jumped right into it, not thinking, well, maybe they don't know how to get the proper flight plan. Uh, if you do, that's great. You skip tutorial three, but tutorial two will be flight planning. Um, right now, we're at beautiful Daytona Beach. That's where I went to school at MB Riddle right there behind us, which isn't really good in the scenery. Yeah. Gross. But. Um, we'll be going from Daytona Beach down to Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, a little short hop, and I'll show you how I do that flight planning. That's very simple, watered down, basic way to do a flight plan for flight sim. Not a, it's not going to be legit for real flying, um, because this is flight sim, and I want it to just be the basics. Um, just a simple go-to tutorial, get snappy, okay? Um, but other than that, that's all, and uh, I'll see you guys around next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please comment, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I want to hear the good, the bad, the ugly. So let me know how I'm doing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.